before the eve of Pesach, in the noon of that holy day, we're all canceling the chametz, and we're saying that it becomes to be, and we're accepting it on ourselves, that it becomes to be like the earth, like the ground, like it's not bread anymore, it's not chametz anymore. Okay, great, so now you did it. So I'm asking you, why you're losing your mind because of every crumb of, of, of bread? Why are you losing your mind? If you're accepting it on yourself, that it becomes to be like earth, if all of the Chachamim and all of the righteous people in the generations, they made that decree that after noon, in the time, the half of the day, of the eve of Pesach, there is no more Chametz in the world. All of the Chametz that you haven't cleaned yet, you haven't took out, you forgot about it, you missed it, you didn't see it, you didn't recognize it, all of that Chametz become to be like dust, becomes to be like earth. So why to break all of your fingers, and your back, and your hands, and your legs, and your mind, and your spirit, and your children, and your husband, and your wife? Why Ribbono Shel Olam? You have to clean, you have to do as much as you can. I once asked, I've been asked for a crazy question. Some woman asked, do I need to pour cleaning liquid uh, in the cracks between the, the tiles on the floor to defect the taste of chametz if it's stuck between the tiles? That's a question. That's an alochi question of a crazy person. Are you planning to eat from the cracks between the tiles that you need to defect the taste? It's not a question. It's a crazy question. But people are feeling like that. That that's what they need to do now. If it's a great opportunity for you to clean the house and you're happy to do that, great, clean the house. It's amazing. But dust is not chametz. And there is no chametz between the cracks because you're not eating from the floor. And people are breaking themselves to pieces and they misinterpret the intention, the real will of the Creator from you. He wants you to serve Him with a smile, to be happy. And people are twisting the will of Hashem, and then, because they are twisting Hashem's will, they're angry at, angry at Hashem. And now they're frustrated, that's not a holiday, it's not fun, it's not enjoyable, it's not good, it's not happy, what are we doing, why Hashem commanded us? Hashem never said those things. But you're not learning right. And maybe you're trying, but you're not learning from the right rabbis. Maybe you need to do as much as you can. You need to clean your house for Pesach. If you have chametz in your house, you need to take out all of the chametz out of your house. You need to clean the house. You need to clean the house from chametz. You need to open all of the places that there might be chametz in and to clean those places. And you need to clean your heart from chametz as well. And you need to do as much as you can, but not to lose your connection with the Creator because of that. Because when Hashem Barach commanded us to clean the house for Pesach, He commanded us to build our connection with Him through that holy day. So we need to clean ourselves and to clean the path for us to be redeemed in this wonderful day. So we need to take that mitzvah seriously and to do it with a smile, to be happy, to try to do as much as we can with a smile, without ruining and destroying the peace and the harmony in the house before of the Chag, before of the Holy Day. And then you will be able to enjoy and really to tell the Agadah to your children and really to sing all of the songs of Pesach and to have some fun with Hashem Itbarach on your table. And not just to be angry that no one is listening to you, that no one... I have been there. Been there. We need to understand that Hashem commanded us to find the path of faith. To believe in Hashem Barach means to live life of faith. 